let's learn about uh, shadowing. Uh, shadowing looks like mutability, but it's totally different. So it's uh, it's good to uh, to really know the difference between the two. Uh, we saw last time um, a small example, and this is uh, this is a similar one. So we have uh, my number, which is eight, and then we print it out. Uh, there's my number, and then we do another let my number equals nine point two, and this makes this makes a new variable called my number. So it has nothing to do with changing this. Uh, what it does is it actually blocks this my number. So you can see down here when we print out my number, it's going to print out this because uh, uh, now you know when we call my number, it's going to call this. But uh, this one is actually not dead. You know, as, as everything dies after here, but uh, this uh, declaring my number as nine point two does not kill my number. That equals eight, and uh, <clears throat> and I'll show you why. Or an example of that. So here we have. You remember the uh, how code blocks work, right? Uh, so they start here and they end here, and the code inside a code block, it uh, it lives inside it. It starts here and it ends here. And so we're doing something similar here, but this time, my number is eight. That's the same. We print it out. That's the same. And then we make this uh, this my number, and we are shadowing my number, the first one. But uh, this one actually only lives up to here. And so when we print this out, it's going to print out this first my number, because this one lives from here, or from here to here. Whereas this one only lives from here to here. So after this one dies, this my number is now no longer blocked. And so this print line is going to print this one, the one that lives longer. So you can see, I, uh, I stress that in my book. You don't destroy it, you block it. And so you might might be wondering, you know, what's the point of shadowing? Why would you want to do that? That's kind of uh, it's confusing to have, you know, one variable name from the from the point of view of a of a human. It, you know, it looks like the same variable, but it's different. Uh, you use you don't use shadowing too much, but uh, it's it's really good for um, for like quick calculations about variables that you don't care about. And uh, this is one example here where we have uh, let's see. So we start out we have uh, just a simple function. It uh, takes an i32 and then it returns an i32 and it takes the input, multiplies it by two, and it returns that. And then we're imagining that we need some uh, some kind of fancy calculation. And so we have uh, let final number equals, and there's a whole bunch of things it needs to do. So it starts out with, we call this thing y, we make it 10, and then we start with uh, x, and x is 9. And then we decide we need to multiply x. But we don't, you know, we don't care about giving it a new name, so we just say yeah, let x equals times times two, put x into there. And then we take x again, and we say x is now equal to x plus y. So we're shadowing, shadowing, and then finally we have this x, and we're just returning it. And this is actually the only variable we care about. These are just quick variables, so we can shadow them, and we really don't care. And then that gives us the final number of 28. And you can see if we didn't have shadowing for the same example, you know, we would have to think of new variable names every time, even though we don't care. So we would start with y, and then you know, x equals this, and then we can't use x anymore, so we would have to call it like x twice, and then after that we'd have to come up with a new name and a new name and a new name, and uh, you know that would be kind of inconvenient. So uh, Rust doesn't make you come up with new variable names. Instead, it just lets you shadow with the same name.